What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles. Coming at you today with another toy hunt for the week. Um, and this time we're gonna start it off a little different. We don't normally start off at a Best Buy, but we're gonna start off at a Best Buy. So uh, I've been seeing some of these Star Wars 50th, uh, I don't know if it's like 50th anniversary figures or whatever they are. It's like Mace Windu and the droid, um, Jar Jar, a couple different ones that I've seen people finding. I want to see if we can find those uh i just think they look amazing the head sculpts are unreal for some of those figures so uh, i think maybe that's just wave one i don't know if it's going to be continued after this first one let me know in the comments if you know more about that line uh, but we'll see if we can find those in there i'm also looking for a uh game and play or game and watch whatever the the little nintendo thing um they say they've got them here in stock so that's why we've come here but uh we'll see if we can find that but then other than that it's just going to be kind of seeing what's out there on the shelves you know just taking a look and, and seeing what's there uh, right now so let's head on into our first stop which is best buy and see what we can find all right guys so here we are in best buy just checking out uh don't hunt best buys a whole lot but got the old jungle hunter predators there Jets and King Kongs, Halloween, Grimms, got a little something there, a little Batman. Dragon Ball Z up here, Dragon Ball Super. Oh, I see something right there that I'm getting ready to grab though. A couple Marvel Legends right here, the Lucas Films. <laughs> 50th uh, Lucas Films. That's the Mace Windu. And let's see. Cards in really good condition. Look at that face, man. That's unreal. Goodness gracious. A little bit of something there at the bottom, but not too bad. And then Jar Jar Binks. So we'll take both of those, actually. I love these, man. These 50. And I don't really collect Star Wars, but uh, if I can find those, I'll, I'll definitely grab them. And I'm actually here for a game and watch, a Nintendo game and watch as well. So we'll, we'll see if we can put our hands on that. Got some uh, Back to the Future for My Hero Trick or Treat. Some little baby Yodas down there. Apocalypse AOA figures there. It's like a 124th, maybe. Jada toys. Some three and three quarters. Got some Jacosta. A couple of Jacostas there. Kang. I don't know that lady's name. Some Sunspot. Um, let's see if we can find a game and watch all right guys so pretty cool finds in best buy we actually found the 50th stuff uh which is uh i couldn't believe it uh the guys i think i've seen finding them maybe ordered them so luck was on our side uh for once and we found it so very cool um now we're going to head into a GameStop. It's a GameStop. I have not hunted in a long time, but it is one of the better GameStops as far as like just having toys uh, over here in the Charlotte area. So we're going to check it out, see what they got. Uh, we did find our uh, game and game and watch uh, Nintendo. Um, in fact, we found two of them. So we went ahead and purchased those. We'll keep one as kind of like collector grade, and one. I'm kind of debating on whether to throw it into the 5,000 sub giveaway. So we'll see. We might we might throw one of them into the 5,000 sub giveaway. We're definitely kind of starting to gear up for that. Uh, so we'll be having more details coming on that in the near future. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're actually sitting here at a pet smart right now waiting on the wife to run in and get some uh, dog stuff. But as soon as we get done here, we're gonna be swinging into this GameStop here. So yeah, let's head on in GameStop here shortly and see what they got on the shelves today. There, guys, on the GameStop. Got a few 
figures right as we walk in the door here. Oh, here we go, right here. First off, we got a couple of new turtles right here. It's pretty awesome looking. I don't know if I've seen a Leonardo yet. Dune Apex. Here's the uh, Pink Ranger Slayer. Hadn't seen her in a while. Cobra Commander. Hadn't seen him in a while. I was telling you guys, this GameStop here is pretty solid. Some of the Ruta. It's kind of reorganized it, it looks like, too, though. <laughs> Most of the figures, it looks like they got right here. There's the uh, Ultimate Expanse, which is the X Jet. Storms. A couple of the uh, Bang Builder figures. Yeah, man, thank you, bud. Dungeons and Dragons version. Guess I could have got the game and watch here. That's what I got. Yoshi would look in the SH with SH figures. What's up, guys? Um, so it's it's a new day uh, for our toy hunt here, and you can always tell when it's an early morning toy hunt because you have kind of that twilight uh, glistening effect going on with your skin in the sun on the camera. Uh, so yeah. Um, we got that this morning. It is a beautiful morning, uh, very early to uh, be out toy hunting, but that's the best time to do it. So the GameStop that we saw yesterday, um, you know, they decreased their, their amount of toys that they carry. Um, so I don't know, I kind of thought uh, GameStop was going the opposite direction, kind of increasing the amount of toys they carry, but apparently they're, they're, uh, they're lessening. They had kind of, they had like a whole wall of toys and they had pretty much moved it all to like a little, you know, four-sided kiosk there in the middle. So Anyways, that was GameStop. We're at a Target now, but we got some uh, important uh, stuff to cover real quick. I'm doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We're giving away some cool stuff, uh, like the Game & Watch from Nintendo. It's about a $50 value. Uh, some action figures, Brock Lesnar Ultimate Figure, Edge Ultimate Figure. Um, we're going to give away some stuff that's pretty cool at 5,000 subscribers. And it's going to be very, it's going to be very simple uh, how you... Uh, enter this giveaway. You go over to my Instagram page, and at some point, I'm going to post a 5,000 subscriber giveaway uh, post. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go down in that post and comment claim, and that's it. That enters you into the giveaway. The only way you're going to know about it, though, is to watch these videos in full. I'm not going to put anything in the title of this video uh, because I don't really want guys who are just subscribing or just following to get something for free. What I'm really trying to do is reward the guys who truly sit here and watch these videos and listen to me ramble on sometimes and watch a 50 minute video where sometimes we may find nothing. You know, those are the guys that I'm really looking here to reward and, and kind of show my gratitude for your support of my channel. We're going to have these little messages kind of embedded in our toy hunts going forward as we approach and get closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers. Eventually, we will go ahead and put that post. Uh, before we get to 5,000, we'll go ahead and put a post there on Instagram so you can go ahead and enter. You won't have to wait till we get to 5,000 to enter. Uh, just once I post that post on Instagram, you'll be able to go ahead and enter. We may do that around 4,500, 4,600 subscribers, somewhere in there. Um, so you may want to go ahead and go over to Instagram, follow my Instagram channel, or f follow my Instagram channel, follow my Instagram. Uh, that way you'll at least see that pop up when it occurs. 
Um, but again, kind of I'll embed the information of the wins and the wares here in my YouTube uh, toy hunt videos. So you'll want to watch them through. You know, if you already watch them through, you're good. If you don't, uh, you may want to, if these giveaways are something you're interested in. We'll probably throw in a few more things as well. We're going to have either two or three winners uh, as part of this giveaway. So give multiple people an opportunity uh, to kind of let me show my thanks uh, to you. So anyways, we are now at a Target. We're out in South Charlotte uh, right now at a Target. I can't remember the address to this, but I'm sure I'll, I'll put it uh, exactly where it's at there, as I always do uh, in the, uh, con or in the uh, you know, little pop-up uh, here in a minute. But let's head on inside. Let's see what we can find. And you guys over here kind of in the NECA section to start our toy hunt off in this target and got a lot of stuff kind of out of place i can tell we got some bobby the brain heenan over here <laughs> in the NECA section make sure we don't have anything hidden back in there don't look like it but uh pretty well stocked with predator aliens the new kong figure gremlins t1000 from terminator there it's a really nice figure got that new ghost face Great looking figure there. <clears throat> we got our Doom figures. Got some Origin figures way out of place over here. In the Funko Pop section. The turtles. I was kind of hoping I uh, found a lot of turtles over here in the South Charlotte area before. And uh, I was hoping I might get lucky and find some Rat King, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing here. All right, so we're in the main toy section here now. And, uh, Got some DC Multiverse Robin there. Haven't seen that a whole lot out and about, but man, he looks fantastic. Got some of, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Is it the Deep or the, I can't remember what her name is. Man, got some Kingdom RC. We ain't seen that. That's, uh, or we ain't seen it in a while. I got, uh, Kingdom, uh, Optimus Primal, I hadn't seen those in a while. Some nicely carded uh, Hulk there, a retro carded Hulk. That's pretty nice. Got the Megatrons, Super 7 Megatrons hanging out. Ecto 1 as normal. And as we come down, we got, I think those are cool. I'm, I'm just, I've been so tempted to pick up one of those. Got a couple of the uh, Augman in there, Cyclops, Professor X, or whatever they call him. Got a uh, good fellow goody, goody low bag, or whatever that is. And then we got some uh, Naruto Gundam down here. And as we come around, we got some neck in the wrong section. Some Sonic the Hedgehog here. I need that. I kind of actually need that Sonic. I got the uh, about the classic one a long time ago, but I kind of like the kind of the taller, slimmer version as well. Not quite as classic and iconic, I guess, as the little shorter, stubbier version. But video game figures there. Kind of weird looking Roblox figure. Got the Halo stuff there. Then coming on around, we got our Jurassic World. Pretty good looking figures there. Stegosaurus or whatever he is. He's pretty cool looking as well. Got some uh, Charlie Velociraptors and then our number collection Echo and Delta. Which we see a good bit of. And moving on down through. Got Gaslid and uh, Battle Cat there. One of Series 1. Still hanging around. Messy wrestling section over here. But we got uh, Macho Man, 
China figures with the build a figure dolls in them. We got some Baylor Roman Reigns two packs. Alright, I think that is it for this target. Let's uh head on to the next target. All right, so, uh, you know, pretty good target. I thought it was well-stocked. The NECA section was well-stocked. It didn't have, you know, turtles like we were looking for. Um, the toy section was pretty well-stocked. Had the 3.75-inch Marvel Legends. Had a couple new DC Multiverse uh, figures that we don't see uh, that often. Um, saw a couple of Transformers Kingdom figures we don't see that often. So it was a pretty well-stocked target. Didn't really have anything I necessarily wanted. I am kind of considering buying a one of the little sega genesis minis uh they're like 80 bucks um but uh, i'd like to get one just maybe from a collector standpoint and uh, you know maybe throw it in like a plastic sleeve to protect it put it in a uh, video game display that i'm kind of working on uh, for some kind of like retro gaming display so maybe it'll have some collectability down the road um just looks cool the box is kind of mimicked after kind of like the original box uh, that the Genesis, uh, I kind of think it was maybe like the Model 2 box um, for the Genesis. Uh, but they, they put these anti-theft, uh, you know, wires around them. And when they do, they put these indentions in the kind of the side corners of the boxes. And it kind of ruins it. So if I could find one that, that ain't too jacked up, I might pick one of those up. So we did see two of them there. Um, but just uh, they had those anti-theft things on them and they had strapped them so tight that it, uh, you know, kind of jacked the boxes up. But anyways, we're at another Target here out here on Ray Road in South Charlotte. So let's go ahead and run inside this Target, see what we can find. All right, guys, we'll start off in the NECA section here again. And uh, again, a very well stocked NECA section over here. Very well stocked. Lots of Kong, both versions. Lots of Predator, horror everywhere. Bob Ross, Terminator there. All the... Tony Terrace and the uh, ghost face there looking pretty good. Broken Tusk Predator. Oh, Pops. Got an Omega uh, DC multiverse over here. It's my hero. Everything but you know what. Got all the Back to the Futures. We got the ultimate Marty McFly. We got the ultimate Marty McFly. The ultimate Biff. And the Tales from Space Marty McFly. So, again, all those just don't have a Doc Brown. Um, but yeah, I would say a pretty, uh, pretty good. What is this? Something kind of different I ain't seen before. Entertainment Earth Convention Exclusive. I guess it's not too exclusive if it's uh, hanging on a peg and target, is it? Let's head over to the toy section. All right, I got a really nicely stocked uh, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park section here. T-Rex. Very cool. stuff over here so we got uh, a couple battle cats and then uh, all season ones are all origins wave ones i still cannot believe those at wave one there's this guy so that wave one has not had any type of sale listed to it yet man aw jar jar we picked up the 50th jar jar yesterday which has this weapon and jar jar just does not have these two items in it. Look at this. Orange Cassidy. There we go. Both the Jacksons. Pac. And Darby Allen. So big time there. And then over the wrestling section. We got China. Plenty of China's in there. She's going to be the peg warmer it looks like from that wave. And then uh, coming on over. Lots of Marvel Legends here. Gosh. Yeah, we don't we haven't seen the whole wave maybe yet. Check that out. Got some of the old last wave as well. But I think pretty much the whole newest wave 
they got. A couple here. Look at there. There's one we haven't. Uh, I don't know if we've seen this carded figure yet, and that is unpunched, actually. I like that, Miss Marvel. Unpunched like that. And the uh, card back's in good shape. Magneto, Human Torch. Man, I'm tempted just to get that because it's unpunched. <laughs> oh, they got all. We got a whole bunch of them here. So we got Cap, Spidey, Hulk, another Miss Marley back in there, a Spidey, and another Magneto. This is how Target should be, right here. Got the Super 7 Bumblebees up there, lots of Ecto ones, more Super 7 Bumblebees, or Path, that's another. Kingdom, more path there. Optimus Prime, a couple of them. Got some decent multiverse. Looks like uh, a lot of the Batman who laughs. And our Spin Master stuff. And then our Mario stuff. All right, so that's it for this target. Well done, though. And I unpunched uh, Carol Danvers. Pretty cool. That target is, you know, really how Target should be stocked. Uh, that was really amazing. Um, I found another uh, Sega Genesis Mini. However, it had the same anti-theft device on it, pulled, and put the indentions in the box. So, no good there. Um, but, yeah, just some good stuff. Uh, you know, the, the Marvel Legends, uh, both sizes, the 6-inch and the 3.75-inch Transformers. They kind of had it all there. Um, so yeah, that's that's a well-stocked Target. And typically when I come over here to like the South Charlotte area, I typically see that, um, you know, with the Targets around here for some reason. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's just because there's just more people, you know, obviously, the you know, when you get into Charlotte versus somewhere like a Hickory area, I'm sure the, uh, the population is much different. So I don't know if they base it off, you know, the population of the area is just, a lot larger so they figure let's, let's stock more of everything i don't know um give me your thoughts in the comments what do you think it is is it you know, do, do a lot of these stores base population in the area off the inventory and stock i'm sure that got to play some kind of role in it um so maybe that's why we see better targets in larger populated areas but anyways we're at another target over here on south boulevard in charlotte so uh, let's run on inside and see what they got all right, guys, in the toy section here, uh, we got Scarecrow. I think that's one I have not seen yet. That's crazy looking there. I didn't, I haven't read that storyline, but uh, we got a couple of Scarecrow over here. A couple of the uh, Banes, not the whole build figure, but pretty close. Optimus Primal again. So we got some more Kingdom figures. A couple of lightning collections here. We got King Sphinx and then uh, Pumpkin Rapper back in there. Got some Rangers, SPD Pink, Red, Dino Thunder Blue, Lost Galaxy Red, and then more Pink and Blue back there. Plasma series here. What are these? These $14.89. These really do look pretty good. And I still really have not understood why those are sitting pegged so much. 
Got a long Spider-Man 3.75 inch there. Got the, uh, man, do we got the full wave again here? Magneto up there. Mora. It might be the full wave again. I can't remember who I was in that wave because that wave didn't really interest me in the Wackalette Legends, but cool nonetheless to see that many on the shelf. Again, it's just, uh, we're in South Charlotte, man. The pegs are just different. And really well stocked. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park sections there. A couple different types of dinosaurs. See what all we got. Trying to see this without making a huge mess. That Triceratops looks really good. That's really nice looking there. Got a pterodon, pterodactyl, whatever you call it. That's a cool two pack there. I like that. Pixar stuff. And we got our battle cats. Our, uh, sorry, not our battle cat. We do have battle cat. And we got our panthor here. Our master figures. We got some AEW over here. Darby. The uh, AEW must have just got some kind of massive restock because I mean, those things you couldn't find them nowhere. All of a sudden, they're everywhere. So, I don't know, man. We may grab this. We may grab this. We may go ahead and get those two. We may get a Battle Cat. I don't know. If I need a battle cat that looks better. See, look at that paint right there. That's bad. That's real bad. Come on, man. You could do better than that, Mattel. Look at them, all of them. Look at that paint. That's bad. They could do better. But the pan, the pan, the panthor. You ain't got to worry about that because they don't have those stripes. So we may grab him up. I think we will. But, uh, but yeah, that's it for uh, the toy section. Here, we'll go hit the NECA section real fast. All right, guys, over in the NECA section here. Got some Godzilla minis in here. I don't know if I've seen very many of those. Got some DC over here. Got some of the last wave. And the Wonder Woman's there. Lots of the Toonie Terrors. Got the Creep. I don't know if that's, that might be one I hadn't seen yet. Right there. And got a really well stocked Back to the Future Predator section there. Kind of a messy area down here. With aliens and horror. King Kongs are pretty much everywhere now. Got the ghost face there. And that version, so two different versions. I guess is that maybe the soft goods version. Set down my Panthor. Now they're both soft goods. This one just has a lot more like, face options. Spyro hanging out. Got Elvis there. So these are pretty cool. I think I'm gonna grab a few of these maybe. Um, my buddy over at Would You Kindly Studios, uh, he set me on these right here and told me to be looking for them. And there's the one I wanted right there. Pretty cool, it's Optimus Prime. There's Duke from G.I. Joe, there's another Optimus. I don't know if there's a Megatron version of this. The Bumblebee back in there. But yeah, I thought these, I, thought, I just thought these were cool looking. So yeah, I might get one. Get the little Optimus Prime there. Pick him up with our Panthor. 
And that is it for the naked section. So continuing on our toy hunt today, um, the targets in South Charlotte were on point. They were very well stocked. We got our Panthor figure. Oh man. Am I getting back into origins? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I had all of wave one or at least a good portion of wave one, uh, battle cat. And I sold them when I got into my He-Man classics figures. Um, but you know, as you know, He-Man's classics is over it's they're probably not going to continue it ever would be my opinion on it and they're pretty pricey figures so i've got a few left that i want to pick up uh for the um classics figures but the origins figures just look so good and they're so nostalgic and over the last several months i've really kind of fell in love with just the nostalgic feel of buying retro vintage type figures well origins definitely hits that vein so we got Panthor. So we're going to have to pick up, start picking up these figures as we find them. So uh, we'll probably do that. But anyways, we're at another Target here. We're in University area, uh, University City Boulevard Target, which I have not hunted in, oh man, I don't even know if I've hunted in in a year. Uh, from the last time I may have hunted this store was probably before the, uh, the virus hit. So we're going to run on in, see what they got on the shelves over here. All right, guys. So, uh, University City. Let's see how they did with their stocking this week. They do have uh, some blur from 86 series. We got a couple Optimus Primals. Very nice. Cheetor here. Warpath. Man. Again, good stocking levels here. Targets are on it today. Monsters down there from uh, MMPR. Got our Legends figures here. Tomatoes, Human Torch. Who's collecting these Legends figures? So, uh, drop a comment down below if you're collecting the 3.75 inch figures. Just interested to know, you know, what type of uh, interest those are getting. Seamus Basic. And we got our uh, kind of video game section here. Got our boo figure, Black Yoshi, Shy Guy, Black All Black Yoshi's Shy Guy. Yeah, nothing new there that we hadn't already seen. And we got some uh, Fortnite down there. I don't know what this is. Kind of Godzilla strategy game. Kind of cool looking though. It's definitely out of place, but it's kind of cool looking. And we got really nice stock here of our Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. There's that Triceratops I like. Common Taurus. Very nice. That's one I don't know if I've seen much of. Pixar stuff. Whoop, I see a figure I'm gonna be getting. Now that I'm back into Origins again. Oh me, what am I doing? But there he is, Stratos. We would definitely get Stratos. Because we don't see him very often. You know what I'm really sad about was I picked up one of the waves for a buddy of mine had like scare glow in it and many faces picked it up and gave it to him so yeah probably never see that one out in the wild again got a star wars figures we got jar jars we got our grease all oh, those are jar jars there we got a, a droid there 3.75 inch droid Got a couple battle cats, so we'll check them out, see uh, how their paint jobs are. Got a Prince Adam down here with a sky slid. I, that's one I don't know if I really want. Um, I've had plenty of opportunity to buy that one, and uh, 
just I ain't sold on the sky sled and him just as far as the size of him and that type of thing let's head over to the NECA section and see what we can find over there so I'm always having guys hit me up about baseball cards basketball cards you know the packs man I ain't got a clue like when I was a kid man I collected these things all the time I even tried to get back into them a little bit when I was an adult and I guess now they're kind of taking off I don't know are these any is this any good stuff right here let me know drop a comment down below let's move over here to the NECA section it's a really well stocked NECA section we even got some rock soldiers there from the turtles which we don't need and i don't think anybody i know needs so we're gonna leave them for a guy who does actually need them but that's pretty cool to see them might be the only turtle stuff we see in this toy hunt and then coming on down Show. Is that new? It looks kind of new. I think that's it. Let's get our stratos. Get out of here. So as we continue down the path of MOTU Origins, we now have Panthor and Stratos uh, as our first two figures in the second attempt at collecting MOTU Origins. So there we go. Um, what a weird way to start off a line. You know, probably most people would start off with Wave 1, He-Man, and Skeletor. But I'm actually kind of considering maybe keeping these on card. And if I, you know, the problem is I would have already bought he and Skeletor. We've seen them all morning. But the cards have been really jacked up. I'm talking about bad shape. And I think because it's because a lot of these have just been hanging on pegs forever. Uh, you know, a lot of the Wave 1 stuff. So uh, we're now at a Walmart, actually. Uh, Walmart typically has a lot of Origins figures. So we're going to go in here and see what they have. Maybe they got some good uh, He-Man Skeletor on card. We'll see what they got. Let's run on inside. All right, guys, here we are in Walmart. Let's see what we got. Right off the gate, we got this. So, heck yeah, Megatron, Beast Wars Megatron. That's a, that's a big one. And then we got the uh, Retro Ranger, which I picked up the other day. And I jacked up his corner. So, that one's corner is the same. So, no better off than the one I had. Got a hard head down there. Got a grim, couple Grimlocks. Ultra Magnus. My goodness. We came to the target for uh, Transformers, apparently. Han Solo Hoth. Got the red figures here. There's Megatrons and Optimus. Looks like most Megatrons. Yeah, we did uh, did good coming to this one. Well, well stocked. This is over in the uh, university area as well, this Walmart here. Uh, I don't know that I've ever been to this one before, to be honest with you. Just hitting up some new stores that I don't typically go to today. I'm um, just kind of get out of the monotony of hitting up a lot of the same stores. Got all the retro card of figures here with Stay Puff. We got all those, so we don't need to pick those up now. Got a whole slew of the Hiss tanks here. Haven't seen them out and about in a while. And then Jurassic World, Jurassic Park stuff here. And those. Then all the way back down, we got the rest of our toy section here. Got some hey man, a Skeletor. We'll check all these cards out and see if we got any really nice cards there got a whole bunch uh, actually here 
we'll check out the paint jobs here on the uh, battle cats see if they're how they are I got some down there as well see so yeah, a walmart's good on these surely there's some good cards out of those Pretty much it. So we will go and try to see if we can find a. Uh, what is that? I feel like that's in the wrong section, but I don't know why it's uh, just laying over here open like that. Let's see if we can help it out. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll go and uh, find a NECA section. We'll check out the cards on these uh, Skeletor and Humans as well. All right, so that's a little bitty NECA section here. This and then right here behind it, got some of the Battle of the Band stuff, a couple of horror figures, some Q figs. That's about it. So, yeah, not much going on here as far as Mecca. All right, guys, we are on a tear today. We're just hitting up everything Targets and Walmarts, and I think we might hit up a toy shop a little bit later here in this. Uh, in this toy hunt so we're gonna have i don't have any stops we're going to end up having in this thing but it's going to be a big one um so we're now at a walmart uh this is one of our old faithful walmarts this is charlotte calibridge court so this is probably the first stop we've had in this toy hunt that's kind of an old faithful um i like stopping at this one they typically stock it pretty well um we found a lot of good stuff here so uh yeah let's run on inside let's see what we can find all right guys so here at the Jurassic World section, kind of seeing what we got. Kind of cruised through this one. We hunted this one about a week ago, so I don't expect to see a whole lot new in this Walmart. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of Stay Puffed and Slimers there. Still need to get a He-Man Origins. We do have a lone Frogman there. You can see we got a lot of empty pegs here in the Marvel section. At least there's no Peter B. Parkers. So we at least got that going for us. But um, yeah, they're, uh, I still need a He-Man on card that's in really good shape. Um, got a bunch of Jar Jar, yeah, all those are Jar Jars down here. Got a whole bunch of reds. Uh, there is, okay, now that's new. I have not seen that yet anywhere. I actually didn't even know he was getting a whole separate figure. So he got, he got a kingdom figure and a netflix figure so that's that's interesting i didn't know that and then if, uh, if you hadn't seen the reds you got this i did a review of this one was disappointed in it um just the the plastic and stuff that is used on her just feels weird the joints are weak um you know they look they look okay but uh it was it was very disappointing um there is hard hit. that's what i kind of want I kind of want that headmaster hard head. I don't know, we might, we might pick up a hard head. And then we got all of our kingdom figures here, the typical ones, Cheetor, Paleotrex. And coming around here, got our origins. Looks like we do got a lot of He-Man up there, so maybe we got a good carded He-Man. I think probably all these were He-Man and Skeletor. Yeah, everything. Oh, we do have a Tila, so we'll probably grab her if her card's in decent shape. And then we're coming on down. Stunning Steve there. May, I think we've seen these. Becky Lynch. Uh, a couple. Huh? It's weird somebody would leave one of the Young Bucks. Kind of odd. And then basic figures there. So yeah, we'll check out the NECA section here before we, before we head out. All right, guys, so we'll buzz through this. Nothing, uh, nothing real new or earth shattering here in this NECA section. So we won't waste a whole lot of time here. But uh, a couple of Migos, Big Pins. Kind of the same old, same old. Nothing, nothing new here. A couple of Q-Pigs down there for turtles. And then our Funko Pops. So we are uh, now in, we're in the truck, but we're also in 
Gastonia. We did a car swap out and we're continuing our toy hunt. Uh, we're over in Axis Belmont, the Walmart in Belmont. So, you know, we're uh, looking for the He-Man Origins figures all of a sudden now. You know, that's actually occurred here during this toy hunt. We've decided we're going to do He-Man Origins figures again. So uh, we're picking, uh, picking those up if we can find some. Um, I ended up not getting that T-Let, the last one, because the card was so jacked on it. Uh, but then I may take them out of card. So I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm undetermined on how I'm going to do it. But my beard is a mess, man. It is just a mess. The, the, the masks are rough on it. But, uh, so anyways, we're looking for that. We're just going to see what else is on the shelf. Um, you know, we've never seen the shadow shredder, uh, the super shredder, the two turtles, two packs in the neck of sections. We've not seen any of that stuff. So it'd be cool to see some of that. Let's run on inside and see what we can find. All right, guys. So. Got a Jurassic Park, Jurassic World section. Ooh, there's a little something different. It's kind of cool. Little water dinosaur. Got the ghost popper there. Bunch of minions toys. Got the, uh, oh yeah, all the retro carded uh, Kenner style Ghostbusters. Stay Puffed Slimer, plenty of those. Some of the biggest peg warmers of 2021, right there. And spinning on around here, got one Elite and May Young. The rest here look like to be basic figures. And then as we come on down, got our Beyblade, there we go. Ooh, we got Evil Lynn and Tila and a He-Man. So we may go ahead and fill some more gaps. Yeah, we'll go ahead and fill a few more gaps here in Origins. So that's that's nice. And then uh, I'm already seeing some stuff over here behind me in Transformers. That's going to be pretty cool. So first off, we got... The Optimus Prime, second time we've seen him today. That's a nice figure. Doesn't have the trailer, but still a cool figure. The hard head. Got some some of the like core figures. There's the Megatron. I don't know if I've seen that yet. Verte Vertebeak. There's the uh, core star screen. A couple Kingdom figures there. Cheetor. And then check this out. Look at this. There is the Studio 86 um, Hot Rod. So, really cool. We have not hardly seen him before. And then we also got this kind of the Starscream painted Blitzwing. They call it Starscream, but that's actually the Blitzwing mold uh, from the studio line that they just painted up to look like Starscream. And then down here, we got our scavengers. Uh, I got some of the, uh, oh man, look at this guy. He's just, he's just floating around in the package. Yeah, somebody done opened him up and everything. Uh, but yeah, we got the uh, Sparkless Bot, uh, the Wheel Jack, and yeah, all Wheel Jacks. So yeah, the Sparkless Bot, that's one pretty cool looking. We've seen, I actually posted a picture on my Instagram of him. Go check out my Instagram if you haven't already. And then there's a cheap Optimus Prime figure in a red box. So somebody bought like the $5 Optimus Prime and stuck him back in a red, stuck him like he taped him up. And then, uh, yeah, that's funny right there. Oh, that's so wrong. And then uh, got some 3.75 inch. Got the Queen Amidala up there. Cross. So, looks like that's it for the toy section. We'll head over and uh, look at the NECA section after I pick out a few of these origin figures here. So one more Walmart out of the way. Um, pretty well stocked Walmart. Uh, the Transformer section was pretty good. Uh, they got some good stuff there. Had some funny stuff as well with like that uh, non-articulated, uh, you know, like little children's Optimus Prime toy, you know, uh, taped 
owned the card back of a red figure and returned to the store. So people get pretty creative with that. And it's amazing to me that the folks behind the counter accept it. You know, it's almost like kind of makes you wonder is like, do they have a buddy behind the counter that's kind of like, hey, man, take this and return it. You know, I don't know. Funny stuff. Um, but anyways, we did pick up a couple Origins figures. We'll look at all those in the haul portion of the video here at the end of the toy hunt. And this is a massive toy hunt. I do know that, guys. Uh, this is probably the biggest one we've done in a long time as far as just the sheer volume of stores that we're hitting up. We're going to hit up a Walmart here. We're going to hit up another Target. We're going to hit up a toy shop. Uh, so we, we got some, some more content to go here. So, uh, yeah, let's run on in uh, this Walmart here in Gastonia and see what they got. Okay. So up here at the uh, Jurassic Park section. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at all them his tanks. My gosh. It's a nice little inventory of his tanks. And we got our Ghostbusters. We got the uh, Ghost Trap down there from the Plasma series. Got the, the uh, Kenner Retro Ghostbusters figures. Do we have everybody we do. We got one Egon back there in the back. Um, moving on down here. Looks like we got some of the new waves. A really nice little green figure there. Cyclops back in there. Magneto. That oh, looks like we got the whole wave. So we've seen that a couple times in, our, in this toy hunt here. So those are definitely popping up. If you need them, you definitely need to get out and be hunting for them. Got the gold label spawn, the Mandarin spawn. Those have been out for a while. We've seen them many times, but uh, got a whole slew of them here. You can see got five up there, three more there. Plenty of those to go around. Moving on down here. Got some red Megatron properly placed in their boxes. Kind of the only red figure I see at this point. Some uh, origin figures coming up down here. I do see. So take a look at what we got. Might be great. Still haven't got a He-Man. I got a couple figures at the last one, but uh, didn't get a He-Man figure. Looks like they. This is just still the, the original wave. So we'll look through the He-Man figures before we go. And then uh, nice dark sabers there. Couple jar jars down on the bottom. And that's it. So let's head over to the NECA section. And a pretty rough looking NECA section here. You can see it's pretty, pretty torn through. Uh, just so you know, that last Walmart we were at, they did not have a NECA section. So uh, I couldn't remember if it did or not, but it did not have any NECA section at all. Here's the uh, Jubilee. That's the regular version Jubilee. Let's put this one back up. There it goes. The Courteous Shopper. All right. And then our uh, Funko Pops. All right, let's uh, go check out. We did find a He-Man here. Uh, we'll check out and head to the next stop. So I finally got my He-Man Origins figure. I found one that was really, it's bad. That the, it was the worst box, but the figure was perfect. So you gotta watch out with some of these Origins figures. Um, I've noticed there are a lot of QC issues on, on a handful of them, um, especially that Wave 1. I haven't seen a whole lot of the Wave 2 and 3 uh, out and about, but in that Wave 1, you gotta be careful uh, with, with kind of what you uh, pick up and what you buy. But anyways, got, got He-Man now. So we've picked up a handful of Wave 1 Origins, so we'll take a look at those at the end of the video on the haul portion. Uh, but anyways, we're at another Target. Let's run on inside see what we can find. All right, in uh, Target in Gastonia. Let's see what we got. Targets have really been on point this toy hunt, so... Mm 
kind of a messy Walmart toy section over here. We do have a new Wolverine figure. Got a bunch of the uh, Marvel Legend three and three quarters. This wave here, the Powers of X or whatever it's called, House of X. Got most of them. A couple more three and three quarters up here. Just a mess. Got a man down out here in the middle of the aisle. And then our video game figures over here. Nothing really new that we hadn't been seeing already. Halo stuff is uh, warming a good bit. There's something new. Sentinel. Halo Sentinel. There's the wave. And a Jurassic World. Not quite as stocked as some of the some of the uh, Toys R Us as we've seen. But fairly stocked. Uh oh, I see some Origins figures I don't have to pick up. Right here, got Triclops and there's Stratos, who we've already got. So we don't need to get him again. We got him earlier today. We can at least get Triclops. And coming on down, got Andre the Giant there, which we've done a review on on the channel. Finn Baylor up top. Here is Goldberg Wave. China Edge. Looks like they're just missing maybe a Shawn Michaels. I don't see a Shawn in here. Yeah. Missing Shawn. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, looks like all those are He-Man figures there. And then uh, Stratos and then a bunch of Skeletor, so a couple of battle cats right there. Oh shoot, that's crazy, look at this. Must have missed that the first time we come through. The uh, Triceratons, that's pretty neat. Hadn't seen that in a while. Said to NECA. seen a ton of. Richard Simmons. No turtles in the NECA section though. We got Ecto-1 in the NECA section. Yet. Teddy Jason. Mortal Kombat there. We got Shao Kahn. That's a uh, I haven't seen him in the wild before. Got a buddy collecting those. I have to see if he's interested in that one. We'll check and see too if they got a Genesis Mini anywhere over here. So that was our uh, final target uh, of the day. The Triclops, you know, I picked him up. I carried him around on my way out the door. I got to looking at him and man, he, he had like a big black dot on his nose. He had a paint chip on his like his uh, belt coming around. He had kind of a dirty looking spot on his biceps. I was like, ah, I'll put it back. So um, I'm weird about QC issues, especially if I can spot them before I buy the figure. So uh, we passed on him. Now we're at a spot that all you guys seem to really enjoy uh, me hunting. It's a really cool spot. Back in time collectibles over in Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, Jimmy, the owner, uh, we'll probably have him jump in the video and kind of give us a little lowdown on what kind of new stuff he's got in. As we've always said before, uh, Jimmy will ship to your home. So if you see something in this video that you like, he wants you to hit him up, text him, call him, hit him up on Facebook, whatever you want to do. He wants you to reach out to him and he'll get you your toys. So he'll, he'll make the deal with you, do everything over the phone and then ship the toys 
straight to your home. So it's pretty pretty cool setup that he's got. He's done that with a lot of guys uh, that are subscribers on my channel, and, and I've so far I've always heard uh, good turnouts from that. So uh, just keep that in mind as you kind of see us, you know, going through this toy hunt here. So let's run on the side back in time collectibles. All right, guys. So we're back in time. We got Jimmy here today. Jimmy's going to kind of take us through the store here and uh, kind of go through a lot of the, you know he's got a lot of new stuff that's come in and uh, traded in a lot of new stuff he's picked up so let's go through and talk about it what's up guys so here recently we picked up quite a bit of masters of the universe or masters of wwe universe uh, we do have the whole new wave in uh, from the newest set uh, so here's kane stephanie mcmahon goldberg ultimate warrior um so we got that in uh, we got some of the new turtle stuff in, Super Shredder, got the uh, movie Star Pack, got some new of the uh, Star Wars, the three and three quarter inch, those are all new there. Uh, we did get some more movie cars and some new NECA stuff in, so some pretty awesome stuff. We got tons of new vintage Transformers in the box. We got a couple Optimus Primes up there, I've got a Power Master Prime, um, I've got an Omega Supreme in the box, a Gravitron in the box, Autobot cars, Blaster in the box. That's some pretty awesome stuff there. Um, of course, our pop section is always changing. We did get some Family Guy collection in here, which is pretty cool. Um, we got, of course, some of the Walgreens um, Silver Surfers, if you're looking for those. Jimmy's also got a ton of Pokemon cards, guys. So if you're, if any of you guys are Pokemon collectors and you've got certain cards you're looking for, you know, hit Jimmy up. And uh, I'm definitely not going to sit here and filter through all these cards. But if you hit him up, he can uh, kind of tell you, you know, what he's got. Yeah, uh, a bunch know, of this just got traded in just the other day, and most of these are all foils, full arts. Um, I mean, there's just all kind of rainbow. There's all kinds of stuff. Cool. Um, so our, our Pokemon inventory is always changing. This is, I got tons of common stuff. If we're looking for common stuff. Uh, of course, I've got some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff now. So we got quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in here too. So yeah, definitely let me know what you're looking for because I, 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 more than likely I have it. Okay. Um, let's see, newer stuff. Uh, of course, we do still have some original Motu stuff still there. Uh, we got quite a bit of the new origin stuff. Uh, got a few scare glows left. Uh, I got a merman, some orcos, so I got a, quite a bit of wave two and wave three. Uh, I'm still waiting on wave four to show up. I, I'm still waiting on those shipments to come in. Um, a couple castle gray skulls, turtle van. Got quite a bit of new kingdom stuff in. I uh, got Beast Wars Megatron, the new kingdom Ultra Magnus, Inferno, Dinobots. I uh, got Air Razor, all the new wave. Oop, got all the new waves. So we got Air Razor, RC. And uh, I'm not sure how to say that. Reconite? Re Reconite? Yeah, you got me on that. Oh, some Batman stuff. So we got quite a bit of the new Batman stuff too. I still got a full set of the Bane build a figure set. If that's something you guys are looking for, I believe I still have a full set. Yeah, so I got Omega, uh, the Scarecrow. Batman and Wonder Woman. So I do have a full set left if you need to build a figure Bane. Um, uh, of course, I got the gold label Batman still available. I got one of those available. Um, cool. And that's about it for new stuff. Oh, awesome. I forgot about the classes or the, the Cobra Infantry too. I forgot about okay. those. We have these as well. Awesome. That's about it for new stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Now we have been redoing our video game section. So we're trying to revamp it and make it look a lot better. Um, of course, these are all the games here. And then we actually have a new detail field with PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox, Wii, GameCube, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, um, PSP, PlayStation, PC. So we got a little bit of everything, a little bit of variety for everything. Cool. How can these guys get in touch with you, Jimmy? So you can reach me by my phone number, 828 two three four nine five eight zero or you can go to our website which is backingtimecollectibles.net or you can search for us on facebook or instagram and jimmy will ship to you guys anywhere in the continental united states i'm assuming right that's correct so yeah hit him up if you see anything we're gonna we're gonna kind of run through and take a little closer look at some of these uh shells we didn't take a look at here just now but uh 
yeah, anything you see in this, you know, hit Jimmy up. He wants you to contact him. Corpse Bride set. That's a really cool set. I forgot about that. Um, and then also, let me see get that we... Dune set real quick. Yeah, let's see that. I got a mess back there, sir. So. I think it's in the back. It was a set that I was going to take to the Comic Con. Yeah, some big stuff up there as well. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, so we'll just kind of run through the store here and show you guys kind of what we got on some of these shelves we didn't cover. We used to have the uh, the real Ghostbusters uh, play set up there on Firehouse. We sold, Jimmy sold it off, so it is gone. All the vintage toys right now are just super hot. Everybody wanting them. It'll be interesting to see if uh, if Hasbro re-releases -re the firehouse, kind of like they're doing the Ecto One. And it's possible. I'd like to see it. Here's those goon figures Jimmy was talking about. Here he set them all out. These are freaking amazing. Mezco, like early two thousands. So sweet looking. And then we kind of looked at these already. Got some old VHS turtle tapes right there. Pretty cool. If you got a few, uh, if you got some holes in your NECA that you still need filled, he's got Triceraton Infantrymen, Xerox and Zork, Rock Soldiers, Baxter and Splinter still. And then here's all the, uh, I guess these were, got a big trade in, I guess, on the, uh, it on was the a collection that, uh, bought a collection. Yeah, I just, I just bought a collection. They, uh, they were trying to move them, trying to sell them. And gotcha. it was just, uh, it was a couple and it was his personal collection and, uh, he was just ready to move to something else. And so he was selling it all. So I made him a fair offer and ended up giving it. How's it going, man? You want to do our Star Wars in here. Three and three quarter loose. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Vintage. It's hard to say vintage when I talk about the toys I played with as a kid. That hurts my soul. Hey, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, me. Father Time wins every time, don't he? That's right. He is undefeated. Got a bunch of legends up here. That Thanos statue is pretty awesome. Yeah, is that one tenth? I think so. Yeah, one tenth. Yeah. Yeah, Kodobukiya. There. Got some. Uh, I got to get this one right here. I need the scare glow. I might pick that up from Jimmy today. Got some classics there as well. And we got some of the commemorative series there. Pretty awesome. 2000X. A whole lot of Ninja Turtles here. 2012 series. And beyond. in disguise generations as well some animated energon some armada had a guy on, Insta on instagram hitting me up the other day there you go some armada love there got a lot of the zords there for power rangers Fortress Maximus up there and Trypticon as well. So yeah guys, anything you see in here, I'll drop uh, Jimmy's contact info in the description along with his social media information and uh, just hit him up if you see anything that you're interested in. 
He'll hook you up, get it shipped to you, or just come out to the shop either way. Vintage turtles got a lot of this stuff. Bucky O'Hare back in there. You got the vintage and some of the boss fight studio in there. All right, guys, we are back in the man cave. We're done with a massive toy hunt here. Uh, this was a very um, time consuming toy hunt over the course of a couple days. Um, you know, getting out early in the morning knocking it out before a lot of crowds get out and that type of thing. But it was a lot of fun and we got a fairly large haul here to kind of run through. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, a couple of the first items that I picked up. So we picked up the uh, Star Wars 50th Mace Windu and Jar Jar Binks. So I just thought these were fantastic looking uh, face sculpts. They may be, you know, reissues uh, is my guess. Uh, figures that we've already gotten, but they just look so good on card uh, that I went ahead and picked them up uh, there at Best Buy. So that was one of our Best Buy pickups. We also picked up uh, two of the Game & Watches. So there's a reason behind the two. If you don't know, uh, then you didn't watch this video close enough. Uh, but we do have two of these uh, for the game and watch. I thought these are pretty cool. I'm kind of getting into the video game collecting world. I think these are going to be collectible. Uh, they already have some collectability to them, but I think they're probably going to uh, increase in collectability over time. So I got one of those. And then again, if you don't know why I have two, then you should have watched the video a little closer. And that's all I'll say on that. Also, we picked up the, I guess they call this like the world's smallest that is an Optimus Prime, and I'm talking like, you can see how big, there's my finger. You can see like it's, you know, a little bit bigger than like your fingernail. I mean, it's really cool. It comes in a nice little package, almost like, uh, you know, what you'd see a figure come in, like a full-size package, but it's actually inside a package. Uh, we don't have a way to break this thing open, I don't think, but it's in its own package inside this package. So you can get rid of this, and then he's just sitting in like a little Transformers package. I thought it was really cool. And just something to kind of display around. I think it's just neat. They were like five bucks. So I was like, why not, you know? Also, we're back into MOT Origins. We've gotten out. We're back in. And we're back in full full, full steam full steam ahead. We picked up Panthor and Battle Cat on this toy hunt. They're both, I picked out the best I could as far as the paint on this guy. You can see there like the paint in the arm area disappointing to me they they could have did better than that that's just my opinion but you know it's a 25 dollars figure i've still got the classics version up there which is hands down probably the best battle cat and panthor that has ever been made anywhere those two are not going anywhere anytime soon in my collection i don't know uh you know i don't know i don't know i, I don't like having two lines of the same thing we've talked about that before on the channel so I don't know, we got, some, we got some thinking and different things to do. But we also picked up a whole bunch of the figures. We got Skeletor, we got Stratos, two big names. We got He-Man and we got Tila. Again, two big names. We got Evil Lynn, another big name there. So we got Skeletor and Evil Lynn. We got He-Man and Tila. We got the Cats and we got Stratos. And then we got this cool guy. My buddy Jimmy over back in time, he hooked me up with a scare glow. So this guy's kind of tough to find. I found one actually uh, back in the day at Walmart uh, for someone else. I actually found you know his whole wave, which was uh, you know I think it was Trap Jaw, Scare Glow, Orco, and Manny Faces, and I uh, found him for a buddy. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd have kept him for myself, uh, as these go for about a hundred bucks for the wave or so out there, but. Um, you know, it still ain't terribly bad if you think about it. It's 25 bucks a figure. We pay a lot more than that for much lesser uh, quality figures sometimes. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to try my best to find all of these at retail if possible. You know, I do enough toy hunting. I feel like I should be able to find 
most of them for the most part just the other day on the last toy hunt we found um ninjor and uh hordak didn't get them because i wasn't collecting origins at that time i just had this weird epiphany uh one day in the last couple of days that i was going to collect origins again and here we go now at back in time collectibles i picked up something that was amazing it was in the video and i'm so excited for it i went ahead and picked up the mezco goon figures these are very i would say they're fairly rare uh, these are not easy to come by there's the goon there's the zombie priest I mean, just look at the detail on these, man. These, well, you guys know Mezco. Uh, I think these will look really good. I've got the Popeye and Bluto Mezco figures. I think these will just kind of fit in well with them. I just think that the, the aesthetic of them will look really good together. So there's Joey the Ball. He's got bowling ball, wooden crate, and the zombie torso. So you can see here, it's got to build a figure with it. So it comes with a zombie. So pretty cool that, uh, you know, Mezco had a line with the Builder figure back in the day. Uh, but just the detail on these, man, these were way ahead of their time, to be honest with you. And then another one of the main characters here, Frankie, uh, from the Goon storyline. So we'll take a little more look at these on our Toy Haul video, which will be coming up in the next couple of days. So the Toy Haul video is going to be massive. In fact, I'm going to have to break the haul that I've gotten over the last two weeks kind of into two different videos because just so many boxes have come in. Uh, and then we've just picked up so many things out in the wild uh, that, I, you know, I, it may end up being like three different haul videos uh, to try to get it all in. So I don't know. We'll see. The last shop we went to again, that was back in time collectibles. Jimmy's a good dude. Uh, he has been open for about five or six months there in Gastonia. So if you're in the area, go check him out. You can drive out, see him. Uh, and, you know, you kind of saw a lot of what he has today. We kind of went through a lot of the new stuff. Jimmy will ship anything you want that you purchase from him. He will ship it to you at your home. Uh, so it makes it very simple. You don't have to live in the area to do business with him. So that's a really cool, uh, you know, option that he offers, even as just a small business like he is. You know, he is kind of a one-man show um, there by himself but he still offers that to his customers. And I think that's really cool. So hit him up if you saw something in the video that you liked or you're interested in. Drop some comments down below. What did you think of this toy hunt? Uh, this was huge. I don't know how many locations we hit up, but I would guess it's 10, 11. I don't know, I'll probably put it in a thumbnail, uh, you know, once I count them all up of how many stops we actually had here, but it was a, it was a big one. Um, and those are always fun. You know, those are fun to do. I actually have my family with me for, uh, for the most part of it and uh, just to get them out of the house and kind of enjoy uh, being out and about. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. That helps get this video out there for other people to be able to see. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. would love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time.